Well, it's been a whirlwind weekend for a group of local military veterans participating in the honor flight to Washington, D.C. They're in Baltimore getting ready to make the trip back home. But before they board, Ms. Anine Jack, a U.S. Navy Korean War veteran, joins us now to talk about the visit. Anine, thank you for joining us. Good morning. I see you there with, uh, yes, good morning. Good morning. Good, good, good morning. Yeah, it's Holly. How's it going, guys? It, it's going great. I have uh, Ms. Anine Jack here. She was a, a Navy corpsman during the Korea uh, era. Oh, wow. So how's the trip been? How's the trip been? The trip has been surreal. It's been marvelous um, to be to be with all these veterans. It's just been at times unreal. Can you but tell us about I've some of it? Can you tell us about some of the activities you guys have been participating in? Oh, we went to visit most of the, all the medical, all the medical, all of the <laughs> military memorials yesterday and the Korean monument memorial was the most memorable because I was able to put my hands on the wall and she was, she was able to put her hands on the wall of the Korean memorial, and she actually felt like electricity on from the wall of her memorial. It was um, it was different. <laughs> it was different. It was it was a marvelous day, one that everyone will remember, and we need to remember. Mm -hmm. And I'd imagine you've met a lot of people on this trip too. Oh yes. <laughs> A lot of marvelous people, and they're all older than I am, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jason, uh, Nina is the only woman on our flight this time. Oh, wow, okay. And um, We have uh, eight, 84 men, and we have one female veteran here on the flight, and uh, so, yeah, we are excited. We had a great day yesterday. We visited all the memorials built for their service and sacrifice, and uh, it's been a whirlwind weekend, and we're getting ready to head home here shortly. We're going home. Well, um, I would imagine that the general public who is out and about around Washington, D.C., when they see you guys gathering as a group, you veterans, I know a lot of times they want to come over and say hi and meet you and talk to you. They do, they do, and and it's it's heartwarming. I mean, to think that they would even take the time to come and shake our hands. Well, you guys are very special. I mean, you're living history, and it's it's nice to to meet and learn from your experiences and things like that. <laughs> well, thank you, thank you. It's uh, it's been a nice trip. Okay. And that's my favorite part of the trip, too, is that we get to spend 72 hours with these American heroes. She doesn't consider herself a hero, but we do. And <laughs> to spend 72 hours with these heroes and hear their stories, we are sitting with living history. And it's the history that you can't find in history books that we're um, part of this weekend. Very, very well said. Uh, now, now, let's talk about the return trip. You're arriving, is it 1.30 or 1.40? 140, 140 at the airport, but as, as your listeners know, they need to uh, get in there early. Uh, we're expecting a big turnout, and this the complications this time is that airport's under construction, so uh, they need to park off-site, 851 Harbor Island Drive. There'll be signs and balloons to guide them there, and um, then take a, a short shuttle to the airport. The Sweethearts of Swing are entertaining the crowd from 1 to 2 p.m., and, uh, and then we'll arrive at 140. Okay, so all we got to do is look for the signs and the balloons, and uh, it's a free shuttle that'll take you there and back, right? Absolutely, right. yep. Oh. All right. Anine, Holly, thank you so much for joining us. Safe travels as you return to San Diego. Thank you, thank Jason. You. Thank you, thank Jason. You. And thank, thank you very much. Thank you, Anine, for your service. Great. Bye-bye.